What's up everyone, this is Rattlehead coming at you guys with a brand new video for Mortal Kombat 1. Today is April 16th, 2024 and NetherRealm Studios has released the new patch for Ermac which gives access to uh, the fighter Ermac for early access owners and uh, of course uh, there's a lot of character adjustments with uh, specifically with some characters getting new moves like Rain, uh, Scorpion and Reptile. Um, I will actually put the link in the description as well as I always put the description in the description I put the link for the accessibility patch notes there those things those are never updated really but it's just to kind of remind people that this game has accessibility features uh, because the patch notes usually just say things like accessibility improvements and because of that that's what I'm here for um, I am one of the accessibility consultants for MK1 uh, and, and here we cover mainly the uh, accessibility updates and everything so uh, definitely check out uh, a few more into like the fighting game scene like I am uh, there's a lot of uh, content out there where they talk about different changes for the characters and all that kind of stuff like character adjustments and all that but anyway without further ado I am sitting here in the um, um, accessibility menu right on the screen reader and uh, there are three main things that have been added into the, the, the patch uh, the first one being one of the main requests that a lot of us blind players um, mentioned uh, when since the game came out. Uh, of course, there have been changes with the screen reader, but anyway, we have a new slider. Screen read descriptive up. Screen reader voice. Screen reader speed. Adjust the speed of the screen reader. 50%. Left and right button. Change. Up and down button. Navigate. That's right. We back. now have Triangle a speech default. rate toggle for the console versions. Uh, if you guys recall, for those who keep up with my videos, uh, we actually have this on the PC side where you can adjust the speech rate and change the voice through Windows settings. And it affects the game because now the, the game it recognizes that you have a screen reader installed. Uh, and it uses the Microsoft screen readers that are already are in your in your operating system, and uh, and you can adjust those settings there, and it affects the game once you load it up. So, for console uh, users, of course, there was uh, no toggle for this or no slider, but for this patch, as of today, it's here, and we're able to adjust the speech rate. So I'm actually gonna adjust it all the way. Seventy percent. 70, 80%, 85, 90%, 95%, 100%, left and right button, change, up and down button, navigate, circle button back, triangle button defaults. So at 100% isn't that like really, really fast. Uh, it's still pretty, it's, it's fast for those who are not used to this. But for me, this is normal speed. So it sounds great. Uh, and we're good to go in that. So definitely a huge improvement that was one of the main requests that a lot of people were asking for as a speech rate i want my screen reader to be faster and uh nrs listened and we have it now so huge shout outs to uh jordan and the rest of the ux team for implementing this feature for uh, both it's actually on um, i'm on ps5 but for all the xbox uh, series x and s users uh you should have this uh speech rate toggle as well so that's some good news right there um, the other thing that I want to jump into right away while we're still here in the accessibility settings is we have a, another slider and it's in the audio section. So the last patch added cameo form, which is basically uh, sounds that indicate adjust the volume of the sound that plays each time the cameo changes its form. The sound plays both the common tone as well as an audio sweetener that indicates the exact form the cameo is in. 90% left and right button change up and down button navigate circle button back triangle button defaults what the game said right basically it's a, it's a sound cues that indicates when the when certain cameos that change form uh indicate a, a specific sound cue for them right and there's a slider of course you can turn it all the way down or turn it you know as, as, as loud as you want and then now this patch added this new one adjust the volume of the sounds that represent the increase or decrease of fatal blow damage from user input this includes the 2d prompt that occurs immediately before the player input window opens as well as the attacker or defender success sounds 50 percent left and right button change up and down button navigate circle button back so the game explains it really well, right? It's uh, this. This is a new sound, uh, or a new set of sounds, actually, that allows you to be able to uh, follow up in a mini game that happens during fatal, fatal blow sequences, 
where basically you mash the face buttons and certain times of the fatal blow to deal extra damage that the fatal blow is already doing um and on the defending side the opponent also does the same thing to prevent the the the, the attacker from dealing that damage right so it reduces that uh so it's like a mini game that is going on during the fatal blow and so there's sound cues for that and of course you can adjust them uh, and this is how they sound like 45%, 50%, 55, 50, 40, 30, 30, 30, 35, 40%, 45%, 50%. Well, of course, 45, I have it at 50% now. Um, so that is a new slider that is for fatal blows. And before uh, I conclude the video, I will show an example of what, what that looks like or what that sounds like in a, in a fatal blow sequence. Uh, you know, so that way you guys can kind of see that. Of course, it only be in practice mode. So... It won't be against an opponent, but just so you guys can hear how the sounds work and when, how to use them and stuff like that. Uh, because this has been happening all along this whole time. Like visually, there's there are indicators that uh, even even then, before several patches before, there was no indicator, but apparently you could still do that. And then NRS added visual cues, and now they added audio cues. So there's a slider. Fatal blow. The sounds that represent the increase or decrease of fatal blow damage from user input. This includes the 2D prompt that occurs immediately before the player input window opens, as well as the attacker or defender success sounds. 50%. Left and right button. Change. Up and down button. Navigate. Circle button back. Triangle button defaults. Awesome. Okay, so that's it, right? So two main sliders, uh, the uh, speech rate and an audio cues for fatal blow minigame sequences. Um, cool. So I want to talk about another thing real quick that has to do mainly with uh, uh, one more area where the screen reader wasn't reading before so let's jump into that real quick and i'm going into the online settings okay so here we are in the online menu and of course the first time you load it up it always lands you on uh on a ranked right on combat league one cool thing that you you will notice if you let the screen reader talk and read everything that happens you can now hear like extra detail and i don't know if this was there or not because i always push buttons like i already just move on and start playing but if you let it read, it actually tells you um, a, a very important information, such as like which character you have so currently selected right now, your, your team, right? But it also tells you what rank you're in, and it also tells you how many points you need till you get to to, to the next uh, to the uh, uh, the next level, right, or the next ranking. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bo bo move up and then back down again, and let's let's listen to it real quick. Online rank, combat league, competent rank matches and earn seasonal rewards. Season of Storms, 48 days, Fighter, Ashra, Kamio, Sarina, One Apprentice, 450 combat points until rank 2 combatant, cross button confirm, left and right button, select rank mode, up and down button, change category, options button, change team, square button, view leaderboard, triangle button, rank rewards, circle button back. And it even tells you that in here, this particular window, you can, you know, press uh, start or the options button uh, to pick, your, you want to change your team, right? And you press triangle to view all of the rewards that you get every time you rank up. And you press square, which we'll talk about that in a bit. But I already know that for the next uh, uh, the next ranking, which is uh, uh, um, what is it, combatant? I think it is. Uh, it's I need 450 points to get there to get to the next level. So that is really cool information to know whenever you jump on combat league. So which that speaking of combat league, it leads me into talking about the the, the leaderboard. If you guys recall in my previous video, that was basically an area where the screen reader was not reading at all when when you act when when you bring up the window however in this patch this is what happens Combat lead. KH underscore rattlehead. Profile level 167. so it's loading up because it's obviously gathering information in real time level 156 rank one matches 11 wins eight losses three streak four points 499 team fighter johnny cage Kamio. come leon up and down button navigate touchpad button friends only Cross button combat card. L2 button, R2 button, page up and down. Options button sort, ascending. Selected column. Rank. Selected rank. Apprentice. L1 button change rank. Selected season. Storms. R1 button change season. So there you go. Storm. Look, and I can Stay browse to all of them. So. Stay off me. Please get off me. Profile level 156. Rank. 1. Ah, <laughs> nice name. Please get off me is in rank 1 right now. T underscore can underscore bull underscore in. Profile level 205. Rank T underscore two. can Matches. is Nine. in rank Nine. 2. Boy, five, underscore Tina. Profile level 59. Rank 3. Rank 3. Matches. FR4 in KCR 0 X. Profile level 45 PM. Profile level 48. Rank 5. Matches. Pop charming 490. Profile level 69. Rank 6. Gen underscore YT 2005. Pop charming 400. Franco 843. Profile level 68. 
rank eight. Rank matches. eight. You know, you can see all the people. And what's cool about him is it reads it reads all of uh, all of their information. Like it tells you how many matches they played so far, what's their uh, their their streak, how many wins, how many losses, uh, how many points they have, um, and and you know and everything. So it tells you everything. Uh, so this is this is the area the, the the basically the remaining area of the game where it wasn't reading. So at this point, the screen reader is pretty much reading everything that is in the game, no matter where you go. Uh, so this is really really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, this I don't know what else could they do at this point, like as far as the screen reader uh, is concerned, because this was like the last thing, and um, so. By the way, I did, I did, I am re-recording this video because originally I was going to talk about something uh, and I want to share what it is. So, in, um, online settings, cross versus in, uh, cross confirm. Cross play, so that this, the, and cross play was one of those things where, um, I, I didn't think about this, but, so, it read, it reads, right? It reads all of your, your friends list and everything. And in my in my original video that I recorded, I was talking about saying how oh sometimes it's, it's, it's inconsistent. It doesn't read my friends, it, you know. And I know I added them yesterday or whatever, you know. Uh, but it's because obviously if they're not online, they're not gonna pop up in the list. But when they are online, they do pop up in the list. Uh, and so you can keep up with who's online, you know, so that you can send them invites through through the WBID uh, a window. Uh, you know, and if you want to play crossplay uh, and everything, and of course, one of the big things that is uh, part of this patch is King of the Hill crossplay, and it also uh, works. I checked it, so we can choose either Forever King or Normal, and it pops up. It pop. It takes us in immediately into the into the WB ID uh, list. Uh, of crossplay, and there it is. There's my list. I I I I, I, I can tell that people are online right now. So that's that's what it is. So my, uh, I originally recorded a video, and I was gonna say that oh, I think NRS should maybe do some improvements because sometimes the list is inconsistent or whatever. But then I realized uh, through some testing uh, that actually is because uh, you know sometimes if they're not online, of course they're not gonna appear on that list, right? So. And if nobody's online, then of course, like there's there's, no, there's nothing to read there. So I think that's what's what's happening with the screen reader. Uh, so if anybody knows about this, if you want have any more input about this, let me know in the in, in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback uh, because this is very uh, uh, important, especially for um, a lot of us who are planning to start hosting events uh, via crossplay. Um, so yeah, so but definitely everything is pretty much accessible at this point. Um, you know, we can list pretty much like the main areas, practice mode, um, uh, invasions, of course, all of the areas and in invasions, uh, the customization, extras, or, you know, like all the, everything, uh, and like, you know, pretty much the, 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 the card, right? The combat card, um, everything. So this game is pretty much at the point where anywhere you go in the game, you can read like, you, like your, our fellow sided players. So awesome. All right. So the last thing I want to cover before I end this video is uh, how the, they implemented the, the, the new audio cues for the Fatal Blow minigame. Okay. So real quick. Okay, so when it comes to the sound cues that I mentioned previously uh, on the accessibility tab, the new slider that they added where it says Fatal Blow, what's happening is when you do a Fatal Blow, there's a mini game that is uh, going on on screen where both op op opponents have to mash buttons to either prevent extra damage or if you're the attacker who landed the fatal blow then you would uh, deal more damage if you mash the face buttons in particular in, in particular areas of the game so i'm going to use a fatal blow right now and of course this is practice mode so you're only going to be hearing uh some sounds coming on the left side of, of your speakers or headset uh because it's me dealing the de uh, dealing the damage but when two players are doing it you can hear different sounds on the left and different sounds on the right uh, but there's also like a little sound cue that lets you know hey press buttons here because this is where you will deal damage so here we go i'm gonna land the fatal blow 
and I'm gonna mash the face once where it indicates. Serena punches the victim airborne, then yanks them back with her tail to punch through their abdomen. Ashra impales the victim with a bladed wing, then her wings break into dozens of feather knives. She slashes with her crest as the knives pierce them. Great virtue. There we go. Uh, it's 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 kind of buried in there, and that's what I like about an NRS sound design that it's not too overwhelming, and but it's it is also not like too uh, like that you can't distinguish it, right? Like it's it's very distinguishable, but it's also not too like in your face, you know. They always come up with really cool, unique sounds that fit the game uh, aesthetics, you know. Um, you don't have this really high pitch, like you know, like '80s uh, video, like 8-bit sounds that just kind of get annoying. Uh, but they just they come up with some very unique sounds. So that's basically what it is. Um, you know, uh, there's sound cues that let you know, hey, push buttons here, you know, and uh, and you can hear the the sound cue that it, it indicates that you're dealing damage. But there's also sound cue that indicates on the uh, the defensive side that hey, I'm not taking this damage. Uh, and so that's how it that's basically how it works. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is. Well, I wanted to make this a short video and I wanted it to be too long. I uh, just wanted to point out the three major things for for the, the patch. Um, basically, for its, in terms of accessibility, the, they added the two sliders. One for the speech rate, the second slider for the fatal blow audio cues that are now also in the, in the extra audio feedback sounds. Um, and of course, uh, the leaderboard is, is, is being read by the screen reader 100%. And everything so we're good to go um, I will consider this game at this point specifically for blind players right I feel that it's a uh, hundred percent accessible at this point um, I think the, the, the remainder of the life cycle of this game may be things like quality of life issues at this point like very minor nitpicky things like sometimes a screen reader may mispronounce characters or or things like that you know but other than that I think they did they did a good job at implementing all of the feedback that we were requesting so um huge huge shout outs to netherrealm studios uh special shout outs of course to the sound team and uh, the and the ux team you know rich carl and jordan uh thank you guys very much for working on on this and taking our feedback uh and everything so that is pretty much it is there anything else that i missed or anything else that y'all feel that it's could, could use some improvements uh let me know in the comments um i can also say that the pc version has pretty much these exact same changes now uh so i don't i don't even have to show the pc version uh because it's it's uh pretty much the, the same thing and of course you know the whole the only difference now with the ps5 version and the pc version and even the xbox version is that the ps5 is the only one that has audio ducking but that's it's not here and there it's whatever now and it's you know the main thing is that this game is accessible like it's you know as far as like accessing the information of the game itself like learning the buttons uh you know the tutorial mode uh or customizing your characters and all this cool stuff right so yeah anyway that is it for me i am rambling at this point pretty much but uh, thank you all for watching if you made it this far this has been Rattlehead showcasing the accessibility improvements for the Ermac patch that was released today at the, the time of recording this video on April 16, 2024. This has been Rattlehead. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next video. Peace.